They rose to the top. They fell to the bottom. They rose again. The clip you're about to see is from Dope, a film I directed and produced in 2009. Donald Big D Garcia had been a murderer, a drug addict, and a prison boxing champion, but that man died long ago. His physical body passed away much later, but his legend and the work he did to save others from his fate is eternal. We started a, a little prison gang, right? We, we came up with the name Mexican Mafia, and I shot heroin for 23 years. I know, man, if it wasn't for me using heroin, I wouldn't have done what I did. When Donald was going to pass, he had some of his closest friends call me. And after I got the third call, I said, I'm on my way. I called a friend of mine, meet me here. I'm, we're going to go to Big Dave's house and pray for him. And I remember I went in there and his stomach was just sticking out. I've seen that before because in prison I was a hospice. And when the guys were dying, their, their, their bellies would just get out there. And his was out there, and all these guys that are there, and they're looking at me, you know, like, who's this tramp came in here, right? They were, you could tell they were crumb, at one time criminals. And I went there and he said, oh, Al, man, I'm glad you made it. And I'm in pain. And, and they said, are you taking anything? And he looked me right in the eye, big deal. He said, I don't want to take no pills. I don't want to lose my victory because I'm loaded, because I'm dying. I accept the pain. In Jesus' name, I accept the pain. And I prayed for Donald, I prayed for him. And then I left, me and my friend left. But every time I would see him or I would call him, it was always, a good, good, genuine thing. I, we used to go together with uh, Bill Glass Ministries into the prison. And one day Donald came, he was sharp. That guy was always sharp. Spit, shine, shoes, every crease perfect. And I see him walking in and he said, it was a three day event. And I see him, so I went over there, got his shoes, got his clothes. And he was carrying his bag. He goes, what are you doing now? I said, man, up and you to get this to your room. So we put it up there in his room and man, he just sets everything perfect. And he goes, you know how he says, I'm so grateful what God has done. For me. And I, I didn't look at him no more like the head of the mob or, or a killer. I didn't look at him like that. I looked at him that he just taught me something. He just taught me to always be humble. Always remember what you were, not who you are, but who you were. You know, Kilroy, the same thing. I knew Kilroy's mom, his brother. His brother was my crime partner for a while. Was Wonderful guy. They never forgot. They always helped the poor. Always. Always. And Roy, we became so close that, you know, we'd call it brother. How you doing, brother? You know, it was, those are men of God. 